friends Jean Serge Gagnon here so today we're going to talk about what are the things you got to do on social media in 2020 so if you're wondering what are the things you know what is it that you got to do what are the things you shouldn't be doing what is it that's so important about social media in 2020 for a business if you're trying to sell a course you're trying to build a business if you've got a brick and mortar business that's you know physical that's got a front storefront what are the things you got to do in 2020 to build your business online to grow your fan base to sell your online courses to to get fans what is it that you got to do all right we're going to cover that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. So if you don't know who I am, my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon as you've heard in the intro there and I said just earlier that's so I'm a French Canadian, I'm in Canada, I live 12 well actually in the during the COVID I'm actually home but normally I work 12 hours away from my family so I'm building a business online trying to grow uh, a website I've been doing network marketing for since the 90s uh, but I'm not really active in network marketing right now but it's one of the things that I've learned so I, I've got the background of working at home doing trying to build a business at home trying to figure out a way to be home to grow a business online to you know spend more time with my family to 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 not have a boss to not not have to ask somebody for a vacation that's me that's my background I've got four gorgeous daughters uh my wife and um we've been together for all, all, well, over 10 years now we live a great life but I'm not home so I'm building a business online so this is what I want to talk to you about today social media in 2020 is it really different is what is it that you got to do in 2020 to build your brand what are the differences in 2020 than maybe five years ago right I mean I've been building my personal brand for f five years now pretty much almost five years and I've learned a lot I mean five years ago it was different than it is today obviously with COVID the coronavirus the you know pandemic that's going on right now it's just even more different right I mean there's so many more people that are going online to do their day-to-day -day tasks that are that used to like I mean churches and 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 groups that used to meet every single week and all that they can't do that I mean it's starting to reopen right now right I mean as I'm as I'm talking right now which is June 8 2020 it's starting to reopen people are governments are starting to allow uh, meetings of you know 10 20 people or so depending on which country you're in I mean things are starting but it's still a lot of online stuff but that doesn't change what you have to do to build a business online there's no difference the only difference is that there's more people online to potentially see what you got so if you're trying to grow a business online if you're trying to build a home-based business online if if you're network marketing if you're trying to sell an online course all these things are the same in terms of how you build your fan base so the most important thing that you want to do okay let's just let's just back up a little bit first of all I want to talk about personal branding attraction marketing you know online marketing is all about personal branding and attraction marketing especially in 2020 right now it's so much more about that than anything else and how does that work how does personal branding work personal branding it's just like a brand if you think about the coca-cola or nike or any of those big brands that you uh, automatically associate something with it right like lace chips or things that you are used to seeing all the time q-tips kleenex those names are Im embedded in our brains we know what they are right just the name like nike we know it's about sports it's about sports equipment it's about running shoes it's about exercising it's about being healthy right we know we know that q-tips is about you know things that maybe you wash your ears with or you put makeup on or whatever it's the little cotton tips we know what that is right kleenex we know it's something to blow your nose it's something to it's to keep you healthier to have when you're sick when you have a cold you know we know those names right I could go on right 
so that's a brand personal branding is no different except it's it seems different because we're not used to it I mean if we think about big brands like coca-cola nike and all these companies they spent millions if not billions of dollars over the last you know 50 years building those brands with advertising traditional advertising on tv radio and the in the papers on on billboards on bus stops all those places you see those ads they're constantly reminding you who they are what they do they've got a specific message so if that teaches us anything it teaches us that with personal branding you got to do the same thing you have to mean something you have to be about something you have to be specific you have to be clear so that when people look at you on social media or they see you in a video or hear you in an audio anything like that they know who you are and what you're about me I'm about you know helping you to build your brand I'm about helping you to grow your sales I'm about helping you to make an income online that's that's what I'm about and while I'm building that myself I'm learning a lot and I'm teaching as I go right to show you the way that I've done the things I've done the like if you go back through my episodes you're going to see I'm, I'm showing you how to use a Weber I'm showing you how to use a blog I'm showing you how to how to create content I'm showing you how to do uh, uh audios like you know iTunes and Alexa skills and I'm showing you all these different things that I've learned that I'm doing because I'm producing content regularly and I'm learning and I'm showing you how to do it okay so let's go back go going back to what do you need to do on social media see, let's just show you like my blog right I'm just going to show you now if you're listening to the audio obviously you can't see but you can always go to jeansergegagnon.com and go look at the blog right there so I'm just going to load that up here on a page and so I'm just going to share my screen uh, where's my this right over here so that's my blog right and I'm in the process of updating it but basically on my blog I have all these different things right I've recently I've done lots of uh, lots of videos on the dot com on the secrets trilogy as you can see right here but I mean you know I've got here something that how to connect your anywhere to listen campaigns how to create email lists and campaigns with Aweber oh I guess I'd have to go to the previous but anyways uh, how do how do update your profile picture everywhere on social media so that's one of the things you've got to be present you got to be posting if I look on Facebook if I look on LinkedIn if I looked on Instagram if I looked on Snapchat if I looked on Pinterest if I look on YouTube you're going to see me regularly posting so why is that important right because I'm I need well you need to be doing that regularly you don't if you can't do it every day that's okay you can do it every other day every once a week but try to do it at least once a week if not two that would really be the minimum that I would recommend because your content is among the sea of everybody else there's so many other people out there producing content you have to have your voice you have to be unique you have to be seen by your by the community right so you've got to be producing content why do you have to do that well let's uh, yeah again let's back up in the marketing in the marketing space basically what happens is somebody has to be able to see you regularly right so why is that because somebody that is out there that wants what you have will not buy it from you will not join you will not get your course will not go to your membership site they won't do any of that unless they trust you they have to trust you just like you're not going to buy coca-cola if you don't trust that they have the same formula that it tastes the same as last time you heard that everything's the same that everything's good that they got a security in place that, well, not security but I mean um, uh, health uh, you know concerns and make sure their factories are you know kept clean and all that if you're not if you don't trust that they have your interest at heart you're not going to buy the the stuff you're going to think you never know right so you gotta have trust you gotta have trust they have to have trust in you for you for you them to buy from you right so uh, hear me out here so number they need trust for them to trust you they need to like you they need to like you they need to like who you are they need to like things about you they need to like what you produce they need to like the kind of life you're living they need to like things of, they need to like you just like you have to like coca-cola before you're gonna buy it sure you got to trust it but you got to like it before you can trust it right if you don't like coca-cola if you don't like if I don't like you if your fan doesn't like you they're not going to buy from you either 
huh and then if we back up one more step they have to know you before they can like you they can't like somebody if they never hear about you they don't know who you are so that's why if, that's why coca-cola and companies like that they advertise all the time because they want to make sure people know who they are so that they can then like them and so then they can then trust them it's a whole sequence right they have to know like and trust I'm sure you've heard that before the know like and trust factor that's one of the things you got to do on social media you got to do that you got to get people to know like and trust you and that's what you use social media for you you get you make you use social media by posting regularly so that they they start to know you that's that's it just focus on that don't worry about the rest it'll come just worry about getting them to know you so talk about your idiosyncrasies talk about your your failures talk about your your successes talk about what you are about talk about you know it's, it's, you could talk about your family you can talk about where you're from where you were raised where you grew up I did that a little bit I probably should do it more but there's lots of these things that, you know and how much you make that a, a really interesting story that people will be like oh my god I really like this guy I really like this this girl I really connect with them they're going to want to follow you because they're going to like you and then because they start to like you they're going to start to trust you and then when you offer them something when you talk to them about this product you're selling or maybe you say can we have a call maybe I can help you that's when you start to build a bond and that's when they will start to want to connect with you they're going to want to follow you they're going to become your fans they're going to start to promote your stuff to their friends all that's all going to happen it's just like a snowball effect right it just takes time takes time and then eventually it happens right and that's 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 what you got to do in 2020 and the reason I brought you to my blog is because I wanted to show you something that I did like I don't know three years ago four years ago is my mouse right there the top 10 simple online strategy that's still something that's valid if you go to my blog you can click right on there on the side the top 10 simple online strategies you just put your name and email and you're going to get the my top 10 simple online strategies and I can show you what the, where that is let me just uh, let me just go here and show you <clears throat> actually I mean when you get the top 10 simple online strategies you're going to get uh the click ecourse uh link to go find this um basically it's the list of the top 10 simple online strategies of what it takes to build a business online that hasn't really changed you got to have a good profile picture you got to make your post public you don't post company or product name you choose a single strategy you brand your name you become congruent you define your dmo you engage on everything you connect daily and then learn the 80 20 rule so if you follow these 10 things and if you're not sure that that's a lot of stuff to to, to process right so if you go to that to my blog and you click that link actually it'll take you to masterofsimple.com so you're going to go straight to masterofsimple.com so masterofsimple.com so just three words all stuck together right and just put your name and email in there you're also going to get so you're going to get the ebook but you're also going to get an email a day with each of the strategies so you can learn them one day at a time it's just just you know after 10 days you're going to have them pretty much narrowed down you're going to be able to focus on what uh, what it is what are the strategies and what you need to do and like I said that's not much different than what it is in 2020 in 2020 there's just more people online that are fall that are the potential customers for you potential followers potential fans right so that's basically what it's all about is just be online be online go online produce content like like I'm doing right most every day I produce something um and it's all about building a brand building your brand building a personal brand using attraction marketing to grow your fan base and once you have a fan base once you start so let's just cover a couple of these things right for example be public what do I mean by being public be public online that's because you just think of a if you have a storefront if you have a store downtown right you got a store downtown it's either a bookstore maybe a coffee shop a pizza place a restaurant or maybe a hobby store whatever it is whatever business you have if it's a what we call a brick and mortar are you going to have the store there on the main street with 
no windows it's all boarded up are you going to have that like that and people are going to have to walk in the door to actually see what you got or are you going to have these big massive windows where every, where you got these cool displays of whatever it is you're selling so that people can see right in as they're walking by they see exactly what you got they they, they know what to expect if they walk in they see how friendly it looks or how how much stock you have or how how nice nice nicely colored it is or the the whatever the environment is or whatever right they see all that which of those two do you think you're gonna have well obviously you're gonna have the windows you're not gonna have boarded up you want people to see when they're walking by what your store is all about so that they walk in if they if it looks interesting to them right that's the same on social media you have to have public posts you have to have your public profile you have to have you have to be posting everything to the public don't make your things private don't make your account on Instagram private where people have to request access you're trying to sell something you're trying to build a business you're trying to build a brand why do they have to you know become friends with you before they see anything that doesn't make any sense it's like having the boarded door and they got to go in the door before they see anything before they know anything about your store it doesn't make sense so if you're building a business online you have to be public so there's lots of different things that you, you can change I mean social media by default is private it's meant for people to exchange information between themselves that they know each other that's why their Facebook has the friend concept Instagram has a follower concept and you can make their account private same thing with lots of other platforms but if you're building a business you want to be public so that's why by default it's not public so you got to go in and change things now in in my in my episodes or in my little tips that I give for social so for simple online strategies I do kind of go into the details but you can always search for those things the idea is learning the principle and why you should do something why do you need to be public why do you need to not talk about your business or your product online why and, and social media I should say not online because you could but on social media why do you not talk about your business why do you not talk about your 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 product what you're selling right why can't why shouldn't you do that there's reasons it's not because we want to be secretive there's reasons for that it's social media I guess that's another example let's cover that other example number two why don't you talk about your business or your product online right why don't you do that I mean I have make your post public don't post company or product name right I mean we don't want to talk about the business or product name so oh I guess there's no I mean you don't want to talk about that right you don't want to talk about your business why don't why not it's like oh my god I got a secret I can't tell people no that's not it on social media just think of it this way if you were going to a family barbecue and you were selling you know used cars or a life insurance or you're uh you've got a new restaurant or you I don't know you make you sell candles right what about what if you go to that barbecue and you tell everybody oh my god I just started this business I'm I'm selling candles I would really love it if you could help me out and just buy a few candles you're going to go around the barbecue telling everybody about that they're going to run away they're going to run away from you they're going to run away from you they they don't want to talk about candles they're there for a family pic picnic uh, not picnic but I mean a family barbecue they're there for a family barbecue they're, they don't want to hear about your candles they they're going to run away so and if you've ever if you've been in business on uh, you know if you try to build a home business for any length of time you probably went through that you probably have told all your friends and family about this awesome thing you're doing and they've they've stopped talking to you they don't want to talk to you anymore because they know that every time you talk to them you're going to build a, bring up whatever business you're in right now so on social media it's the same thing social media is about building relationships about growing fans and friends and becoming friends and understanding what they are what they're about what they want what they need it's not about pitching them your product or your company and it's not to say that you should never say what company you're in although that's highly recommended because you don't want people to find out on their own what business or company you're with you want them to find out when you're having a conversation with them because you're going to bring it up 
if you feel they could be helped by it and that's the, that's a whole other thing a uh, whole other thing about building relationships and and getting to the point where you talk about business but the thing is like like me I talk all the time about my my online course site I probably shouldn't I because um, some people are be like oh that's what he's all about that's all he wants that's all he cares probably maybe that's what's happening right I don't know but uh, the point is that if you don't want people to be annoyed by you about your business and you just want to build relationships so that when the time comes for them to be ready or be looking they they say oh yeah I think I remember because you know you would bring that up in a conversation where you care about them where you're asking them about their life what they're trying to accomplish and then you just say well you know I'm doing this and I'm probably not for you but I uh, just thought I'd let you know in case you ever do are ever interested in that at some point in the future you know if you ever want to have something that gives you better water I've got a filter uh, or whatever right I've got I sell coffee or I have this this great makeup and it's just you know animal friendly and all that so if you're ever you know just let me know and of course there's a whole there's a whole concept of following up and all these other things but my point is that when you talk to them online when you're building when you're posting you should not be posting company names you know other another reason is because people are going to find if they if they know what company you're with they're going to google it to find out what that company is you're going to see a whole bunch of negative reviews on that company that's the, how it is that's the most interesting stuff people like to see the negativity around things and then they're going to either not not like it or if they're not swayed by that because they understand that 90 percent of things are negative online anyways maybe they're going to find somebody else to join their business to buy from them right instead of you because you're new and they don't know you yet but they can see this other big big name out there and they say oh I'm going to buy from that person they're going to help more they have better you know history they have better results so you got to be careful of that so that's the that's the thing right so don't that's what do you need to be doing in 2020 on social media it's it's the same in 2020 as it was in 2019 just a little bit more um there's more people online so you have a bigger chance of finding somebody who's interested in doing something online to generate income online if you're trying to promote something that helps others it's the time it's the time to do it if you're trying to sell a course that teaches other how to do certain things especially if it's courses that teach people how to do things online this is the time 2020 is the time right now people are all online trying to figure out how am I going to get my income how am I going to generate income they might have lost their job maybe because the business that they were with was one of the businesses that was hit by the COVID that was shut down by the government maybe they they need income so you can help them so I hope that helped you know that's one of the things you got to be doing online I mean here's you know I'm going to show you something here Instagram so on Instagram there's a lot of pretty ladies right and there's there's lots of stuff on Instagram that's all about well see like this right I don't know this person here is just posting some sexy stuff online there's a lot of that does that mean you need to be doing that do you need to be doing that online I mean if I go back to that example I'll just go back here to that example if I go back to this account this is just a bunch of you know hot women in bikinis right that's the that's this account that's this account that's what they post they post hot chicks you could post hot chicks you could do that that could work but it really it's not you don't want to do that if that's not what your business is if your business is not about hot chicks there's no point in you posting this stuff right why do I bring this up because lots of people think that they have to be attractive they have to be sexy they have to be good looking they have to be doing things like this to attract people online that's not true I mean if we go to my profile if we go to my profile what I post obviously I is not but I do post pictures of, of flowers or things like that I post uh, you know um I post some 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 sayings some quotes that kind of stuff and I also post these videos every day right these videos are partial videos right I'm not getting thousands and thousands of views but it's still you know it's growing it's growing I mean if I go back I don't know how far I can go back here to 18 see 
if I go back to some of these older videos I have over here so 26 it's all about the same 17 right I'm not getting a ton of views eight see eight over here eight nine so that's 22 views right here right so I mean some of them like a while ago was was less so two right now at 20 two four two five right five two not even any views actually on this one this is just five hearts and two comments well comments are probably mine no views doesn't even show any views that's funny I didn't even realize that but if I go back to the more recent ones you can see that I have 20 plays 20 views on this one right I have 18 views 10 views 12 it's not it's not a ton but it's still you know like 20 over here I got 15 17 21 23 right so I mean that's the thing so I'm not posting all these hot chicks I'm not doing that that's you know that's you don't have to do that sometimes I feel like wow that if I could post more pictures of my family because my my daughters are gorgeous my wife is gorgeous and that would increase my views increase my and it probably would right it probably would but is that what is that going to help is that going to build the right audience right and when I start to, to to try to promote something about building a business online the people all the people that liked my pictures are following me because of my gorgeous daughters they're not gonna they're not gonna care they're they're gonna be like this guy and then what happens is you get these negative marks on your account because people start unfollowing you or they even mark your stuff as I don't want to see this or this is spam or whatever they call it and then it becomes negativity against your account so you're going to be careful with that stuff all right so make sure you post the right content for your right audience and you do it regularly so that they get to know like and trust you so eventually they'll buy from you that's 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 as simple as that that's all it takes that's all it is and you know that's that's what that's what it's all about that's how you build your business online in 2020 produce content do it regularly be consistent right every two days every day every once a week do it all the time with the same consistency and get them to know like and trust you then they'll eventually buy from you all right hopefully this helped if you have any questions obviously always reach out and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.